rail line commuters could pay a heavy price for the rail spur into Cardiff Airport proposed by the Vale of Glamorgan. The Vale line was reopened in 2005 in part to provide a rail service to Cardiff Airport via the shuttle bus that runs from Roos Cardiff International Airport Station. Since being reopened, the Vale line between Cardiff and Bridgend has grown, carrying 360,000 passengers in 2008 to 9. Currently, this service runs just once an hour, but there are also huge 22 wagon coal trains to Aberthaw Power Station approximately every hour. These lumbering giants take nearly a minute to pass and also need space in the timetable. The Welsh Government has made it a priority for the line to run every half hour from 2015 once the network is upgraded. Stations to the west of the spur like Llantuit Major and Roos will not be served by these new airport trains. They will stop and start at the airport. If the rail spur is built, it will compete with the Vale line for line capacity, that is, which trains will be given the go-ahead for platform space in Cardiff and Barry. A study in 2011 suggested there was room for about four trains an hour on the Vale line. The new spur would probably need subsidising. With the Welsh Government talking about withdrawing subsidy to the much cheaper shuttle bus from Roos, would they really fund this? At the moment, about 50,000 people a year use the shuttle bus from Roos, which meets all the trains from both east and west. At the current level of air passengers, we estimate that there would be about five passengers on each train journey on the airport trains. What of the poor old Vale of Glamorgan line, forgotten in the excitement and political investment of the new spur, Will anyone be interested enough in it to be arguing for its electrification when plans go to Westminster for the money to do this? Roos and Llantuit commuters deserve a better deal than this. The rail spur needs to be stopped to protect the Vale line. We need to make our views known before 5pm on the 2nd of April. Please visit stopthespur.org and sign the petition.